Hello, and welcome to our podcast on attention and the adolescent brain. We are five students from the University of Limerick and are currently undergoing a variety of degrees between us. Yet we all have the, have the same goals and intentions on becoming secondary school teachers. The podcast was recorded on the grounds of the university on the 23rd of March 2016. My name is Greg and I'll start by giving you a brief overview of what an adolescent really is. An adolescent is often stereotyped but it is someone who goes through the transitional stage of physical and psychological human development. An adolescent is someone from the ages of 13 to 19, changing from a girl to a woman or a boy to a man. In this podcast, we will explore possible means of improving attention and concentration in adolescents, as the majority of this group are physical education students. Our prime focus will be on the benefits of exercise in relation to improving attention in adolescents. Hi, I'm Mark, and I'll be discussing some of the positive influences on the adolescent brain, including regular exercise, balanced diet, living in a safe environment, and having an interest in the topic. On the contrary, some of the negative influences on the adolescent brain include lack of exercise, bad diet, stress, and home distractions. Sleep is very important for your health. Adolescents who are receiving a lack of sleep are likely to be unable to function and unable to pay sufficient attention in school or college. Adolescents need 8-10 to hours sleep per night for the brain to function at its best. A healthy diet contributes to a healthy brain and this is especially vital during adolescence when teenagers are growing rapidly and expending the most energy. Exercising regularly during adolescence has numerous positive influences on the brain. Teenagers who exercise have better mental health than those who don't. Exercising leads to a more positive self-image, more self-confidence and relieves stress. Brian will now interview Tom Cummins, Irish sporting expert and educator. Hi Tom. Um, For our ICT project, we have to focus on uh, attention in the adolescent brain. So SPE students and from our studies with you, We've, uh, we've learned the benefits of children who have uh, proficient fundamental motor skills and we'd just like for you to make the link between children that are um, uh, involved in exercise and its relation to the concentration and attention spans. Yeah, uh, Brian, if any of the research will show you that if your fundamental motor skills, your running, jumping, throwing, catching are better, that you'll do more exercise. And if you engage more exercise, there's a clear link between exercise and the benefits um, with attention and the benefits with academic performance. There's a number of studies been done particularly on fundamental motor skills and have shown a link between fundamental motor skill performance and academic performance. So kids who do more activity, more movement, um, have better attention, uh, are more alert in class um, and as a result of that their performance academically improves. Yeah. So the real key thing is to improve and engage them in their fundamental motor skills so they can run, jump, catch, throw, kick. They will take part in sports like in football, hurling, soccer, rugby um, and as a result of that they will, they will benefit physically but also benefit psychologically as well. Okay, so, um, so like currently it appears that children will say going into secondary school aren't very efficient in their fundamental motor skills. So as, as you've just said, um, it, it is academically beneficial for a student to be involved in physical education. Um, could you give us any ideas of what a teacher could do to, to implement more exercise into a students? Like well, yeah, I, I think when you, you, you're right, when they come into secondary school, the fundamental motor skills are deficient. But there's not a lot of time done in schools for PE. Um, especially in the primary school, and kids these days aren't as active as they were years ago. So the thing really is to try to increase the, the amount of activity they're doing. And it could be in primary school the teacher do, does busy breaks or takes five minutes break in the middle of a class and does some activity with them, even classroom based, and they will find that that will in turn improve their attention span and that will improve the academic performance. And in secondary school is trying to fit it in and get him involved in clubs, um, doing busy breaks, even at lunchtime, offering different type of classes or activities uh, at lunchtimes and trying to get kids engaged in activity at least, you know, nearly every day if possible. Okay, yeah, so just uh, short little um, 40 minute classes of PE once a week, 
probably isn't enough. Isn't enough. enough. Um, right. So you need more opportunities for that and giving kids a wide options of activity. Um, but if you improve the fundamental motor skills, it opens them up to be able to play other sports. So if somebody can't run or kick or throw or catch, they're not going to take part in getting football or soccer, for example. And that cuts that avenue of activity down, That's which makes them less active and could have an effect on their attention span and also as a result on their academic performance. Okay. So, the, so essentially the, the take home point is uh, a good balance between both physical education uh, activity will lead to better academic performance and a better lifestyle yeah, for the child. Yeah, potentially. Yeah. So it's all, it's, all, it's all a cyclical relationship. So the more activity you do, the better is your skill level, the better is your activity, the better is your health, both me mental and physical, and that's better across the board. Okay, perfect. Thanks very much, John. Hello, my name is Fergal. And I'm going to summarise today's podcast. In the podcast today, we looked at what constitutes the adolescent brain. We looked at certain factors influencing attention. We had a professional consultation with Dr. Tom Cummins, and we looked at changes to positively influence attention in adolescence. Thanks for watching our podcast, and here are some references if you'd like to research anything further.